all, welcome to Online Equestrian Lessons. I'm Katie, and today we are going to do a little bit of a vlog because we are going riding with a friend and her horse. So we're gonna have so much fun. So I thought I would just kind of do a vlog of our day together. So I um, hope you all are having a great day and have fun watching. Already groomed Moosey from head to tail. And we're having some serious tail go goals going on here. So awesome. So anyways, we're just going to tack up and then we're going to get on the road. So we are all tacked up and we're getting ready to load this boy in the trailer. We're going to have fun. <laughs> so excited because this will be Moose's first time traveling um, somewhere um, to ride. So this is going to be a really, really great experience and a really good adventure. Um, so just super, super excited. There we go, buddy. For today um, is to really just have a really good and fun experience. I'd like to take him out to some shows this year. Um, so this will be pretty much our first experience going out together. Um, and so we're going to ride Western today and hopefully just work on some really good walk trot. Um, we may do a little bit of lunging. I'm um, kind of work on the lunge. Um, but yeah, just kind of having a fun day out. And so we are on our way. I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun. Um, and this is, goodness, the first outing um, that we've had in a long time with winter and everything um and then there wasn't any shows um pretty much this whole year i didn't go to any shows with the covid and everything uh, we did do um some fun stuff we did some we did actually do a couple show deos, um which was a lot of fun and some things like that um we did a trail ride uh, we did a christmas parade which was fun so different things but this will be our like first training outing in a long time so i'm so so excited um it is such a gorgeous day the sun is shining and the snow is melting which i'm kind of sad about but anyway it's gonna be so fun so see you guys there So we are done with our ride and we had so much fun. So both of the horses were so, so good. Um, and my friend and her horse did absolutely amazing. They're looking so good and just such a good team. Um, so that was so much fun to watch them. And then also um, Moose did really, really well. So this was like his first outing pretty much out um, for like a training outing um, and we did a uh, rent an arena today so that was really nice um to be able to go somewhere and do some training and everything um so basically we worked on going forwards today going uh around onto the bit and everything um and being a little bit more supple as well um and then um we also worked a little bit on neck reining and moving off of leg pressure and he did really really well with that um, and then we also did a lunge first, um, so we did really good with that, but um, it was a big arena and had banners all the way around it, um, so it was really good practice and he never spooked or anything, he was really, really good. Um, so anyway, I just felt like it was a really good training, um, so we're heading back to the barn right now and I'm going to get him untacked um, and give him a good groom and spoil him up a little bit because he was such a good boy, so we'll see you at the barn. So we are home now. And I'm gonna get Moose out of the trailer here. Um, he was such a good boy. So we're gonna take him in and spoil him a little bit with some grooming because he was such a good boy. Um, and I'll see you in the barn. Back, back, back. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. I got. So I wanted to show you guys um, something that I 
used under my saddle today. So um, anybody that's riding with lower back pain, you really want to use as much shock absorbing materials as you can without making your saddle bulky and without um, hindering the fit of your saddle. So if I were to go put like a huge foam pad um, or something underneath what I already have, um, it would really hinder the fit and it just wouldn't work very well. So um, I wanted to show you guys um, what I'm using underneath his saddle right now as well as having my thin line seat saver. But I have this thin line, this is actually an ultra thin um, shock absorbing sort of English half pad. But it is so thin. I mean, it's like paper thin, so it wouldn't, it won't be hindering um, his um, saddle fit at all. It won't hinder, it won't cause any pressure points or anything like that. So um, what I've been doing is putting my Western pad on, um, and I really like felt or wool pads. Um, those are my favorite to use as far as Western. I use fleece sometimes, uh, but then I just pop this on top of um, of the saddle and I put it behind his shoulder blades so everywhere that I'm sitting it is really allowing for shock absorption and dispersing pressure um, so that's not only helping his back but it's also helping my back and my my thin line seat saver is not all, not only helping my back but it's also helping his back because anything between me and him that's shock absorbing is gonna help us both so um, I would recommend doing some sort of you know, thin line of some sort, um, either for your horse or for you, um, if you are dealing with back pain or if your horse is dealing with anything as well. So pretty anyway, much that's just my little sort of tip for the day. Um, I got this off Facebook Marketplace, super cheap. So you don't have to buy them brand new. This one's in really good condition. Um, and it was cheap, <laughs> so, cause they can be very expensive. Um, um, goodness, I think some of, some of the half pads can be like over a hundred dollars. Um, don't quote me on that, but so anyway, if you can find them used, it's a really good, really good deal. So anyway, let's get grooming. Okay, so we are done with our grooming now. Come here, buddy. We're done with our grooming, and I'm just going to pop him in his stall um, and let him finish his hay from this morning um, and enjoy his look at a little bit and everything because it's so muddy outside right now. So... I'm just going to pop him in his stall for right now. Um, but yeah, he was a super, super good boy. We had so much fun. Um, and I'm really looking forward to next time um, that we can go out and do a little bit of training because that was just a really good experience. Um, he never even spooked or anything. He was just really a good boy. Um, so it was a really good experience. So I highly recommend if you can um, do an arena rent or really take your horse just anywhere um it's just really good experience for them um and yeah but yeah here he is eating his hay and i have found that his favorite licket flavor is molasses he loves it but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video um and I hope you all are having so much fun with your horses as well and having fun in your riding journey really try to just enjoy the journey sometimes we can get caught up in our training and things um but if you can just enjoy the journey i just think that is so amazing work on your training definitely um, but once in a while just make sure that you come back and think you know am i enjoying this do i need to change up something in my training um to where you know you're changing it up and, and making it fun, not only for you, but also for your horse. Um, so anyway, happy riding, and I'll see you guys in the next video.